call. What took place? Uh, he just started out the windup. He was he got really focused on uh, the pitch, and then when it happened, the umpires got together, and I think they were, you know, conferring like, "Hey, did you see him start out of the windup?" And when they did, they they ultimately got the call right. Clear. We're assuming your argument is, "Hey, it's not reviewable, so they couldn't go back and change it, right?" Yeah, my argument was, you could, you know, that you can't argue a ball call, which you can argue, you can ask about a ball call if it's not a step off call, and then. You know, the fact that all four of them had to get together, I was just making sure they got it right. Ultimately, they, you know, they got it right. It's a good crew and they talked about it, which if it's a situation where they have questions, you know, the way it should be is they should get together. They did get together and, you know, ultimately they got it right. Shelby, that play 6-4-2, 5-6-2, I think it was. Like, when you look at that, is there something you guys could have done differently or is that just baseball being baseball? No, I actually, I thought we ran that play really well yeah. because of the fact that could turn into another run. Uh, the front side of that play is probably one of the most heads up baseball plays you'll ever see. You know, it was Gorman, right? Ran yeah, it straight Gorman. through the bag. It's something that everybody talks about in the minor leagues. You very rarely see it. He did it at the right time. He did it, he ran through it, he made the turn. So Diego couldn't tag him. I mean, it was just a smart baseball play on a tough play that, you know, Diego made. And uh, ultimately we were able to, to get the out. We wouldn't have got the, you know, we wouldn't have got, the run would have scored either way. But uh, I actually thought we handled the run down pretty well. Speaking of Diego with the three errors today, kind of what did you see on those three plays? And how do you have the opportunity to talk those two with him? Yeah, I talked to him after uh, the one inning where he made the two. And I mean, I told him he's been playing really well. He just, he, the ball that Yachty hit, I think he just took his time too much. And then he started to think about it. And I think like we've talked about with young kids, we're going to have, you know, we watched him play shortstop last night as well as you could play it. And then tonight, you know, he struggled on a throw or today he struggled on a throw and then he started to think about it. So he just, you know, move on. But uh, yeah, I just told him to keep going with what he's doing. and. And uh, today just wasn't a really good day. Yesterday was a really good day. You said that that play by Gorman was a smart play. Is he out if he slides and that doesn't run through the base like that? Uh, in terms of looking back at it, I would say it would be really close. You know, the one thing that, that happens on that play and anybody that you've ever talked to that's been in player development, the element of surprise on that, because you can run through the back. There's no rule where you have to slide. So I don't know if he slides if he's out, depending on where he's at, because I haven't looked at it. Uh, you know, we were looking at it to see if we beat him on the force, but we did. How much did JT Brubaker have to tough out? You know, obviously a hot afternoon, but then those those crazy plays. Yeah, he had to grind through it because of the fact that, you know, I think we've talked about in some of JT's starts, we haven't played very well defensively. He continued to grind through it. And then, you know, he and BD did a good job with the fact coming off last night and then having the doubleheader or having the second game today, the fact that BD was able to pick us up was huge. You know, when there was a big conference on the mound, he kind of tapped Castillo on the shoulder like, hey, it's okay. I mean, what does a moment like that represent or mean, if anything? Yeah, I think it represents a ton. I mean, I, I really feel this group has a strong bond. It's a bunch of young kids. We're going to make mistakes on all sides of the ball. I think the big part is we have to make sure we continue to pick each other up. We have to continue to teach.